So this is an abandoned amusement park here in Bali, Indonesia, and I love exploring abandoned places, but abandoned amusement parks, man, this is going to be awesome. So this place used to be not only popular with tourists, it's right along the beach, right along the ocean over there, but it also used to be very popular with the locals here in Bali. And looking around this place already, this place is amazing. All right, so this is the staircase here that led up to the ticket counter over here. As you can see, it still says tickets. But look at this, this place must have been something amazing in its day. But look at this, this place is abandoned. Oh, hey, hi little guys, look at those little chicks. Yeah, yeah, I'm just filming them, mama. Chill out. But what this place has turned into is a local street art gallery. Look at some of this. That is some talent. That is just awesome. Look at this one over here. Wow. So much cool stuff to see here. Wow, look at these pillars here. That is just amazing. And then over here, look at this one. This is a glow worm. That looks familiar, but I can't really place what it is. But look at this. We got the evil banana. But this is so cool. All right, we're going in. Wow. <laughs> Unreal. And then a four headed turtle down below. That obviously used to be a fountain. Now it's all grody and gunky and gross and gunky. That's a word. Gunky is a word. Look at this building here. This is like a big barn. And I wonder what was in here. And look at this. This is such an incredibly magical place. Look at this. Some more art. Butterfly over here. And then over here. Um, cat with rainbow glasses. That's kind of cool. Look at that. That is amazing. I don't think that's street art. I think that was actually part of the amusement park here. Wow, look at this. Nature is totally taking this place back. Yeah, roof is totally gone. Trees are coming back in. Such a cool place. Wow, look at this. Look at the way the strangler fig just grabs onto the wall like this. And a nice little active hornet nest. And those guys look big and uh, not too happy that I'm here. So we're moving on. of this out here another building over here now i think that i heard that this was actually a zoo at one point uh, like an amusement park and a zoo so some of these buildings may have had animals in the zoo and that could be what's down here this was not only an amusement park but this was also a zoo right yeah they had like crocodiles and stuff. they had crocodiles and stuff when did it close uh, this place closed down in 1997. 1997. So this has been abandoned for a while. Why did it? Why did it close? Um, nobody really knows. They say it's the land. They say they couldn't pay for the rent and stuff like that. Well, it is beachfront property. Yeah. yeah. So instead of keeping it open, making a little bit of money, it closed, and now they're not making any money. Yeah. Well, now it's abandoned. Yeah, and now it's abandoned, and we get to explore it. Why do people think that this place is haunted? Well, usually they say abandoned places is where all the spirits will eventually go to find like a home. Gotcha. So any abandoned place here would be considered haunted because they think that's mm. where the spirits go for solitude. For some people, that's what they think. That's what they think. What do you think? I guess we're gonna find out. All right. <laughs> All right, so this building over here, Ayala just told me was a theater, yeah. like a live stage theater? Or I think so, yeah. So this is the entry to the theater. Look at this. This is incredible. Damn. So this place has been abandoned for 25 years and just look at how much nature has reclaimed this place and kind of makes you wonder what this place is going to look like in another 25 years or 75 years from now. I wonder how much of the ruins will actually be left then. 
I hope this place never deteriorates because there is an inherent beauty to this place that, man, you really have to appreciate abandoned places in the world. And this one, for people that love exploring abandoned places, this is one of the most incredible abandoned places I've ever explored. So this was obviously the Turbo Theater. Uh, mm -hmm. What does film Tiga Demensi mean? So film is film. Film, I uh, got Tiga that part. Tiga is three and Demensi uh, is dimension. Dimension, okay. So Ooh. it's a three-dimensional film. Three-dimensional theater. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting indeed. All right, so uh, let's go in and check out this theater. There's this uh, kind of a calm, eerie feeling about walking through this place like I'm going to see a shadowy figure around every corner here but this place is absolutely incredible okay so up here was the projection booth you want me to go first or you want to go first are you a scary cat or no uh, nothing scares me nothing mm -hmm. well. Light, but you have the light, so you go first. Let's let's go together. <laughs> you know how small the stairs. Oh, the roof obviously leaks. Oh wow! So this was the projection booth. Yes, no rape. Well, that's a little disconcerting. And right through here is the theater and we're going to go down there in a second but turn the light over here there's not much left to this place but after 25 years i don't know that i would expect a lot here what's in this deep dark room bats lots of bats come here Oh yeah, we found the bats. There's a ton of bats in here. Wow. Oh, sorry to bother you guys. Wow. Tons and tons of bats and we're getting uh, pooped on. So we, whoa! One just, <laughs> One just flew right out there. A couple of them are flying out there. So I bet you there's bats in this room too. Let's check this out. Is that a dead body? Yeah, there's oh, it's, it's, two bats that were from it's that. just styrofoam. Yeah, no bats in here. Apparently, this isn't the bat party room. Okay, let's go down and see the theater itself. Oh wow, this was the theater. You can see the staggered floor where the seats were. There was the projector booth up there. So we gotta be careful because there's like these open holes in the floor here and it's really dark and well, I think that these are the portal straight to hell. So you don't wanna fall into those. <laughs> You're probably just gonna scrape your knee if you fall. Straight to hell. Or maybe like sprain your ankle. Straight to hell. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, is, what is it with you and your obsession with straight to hell? <laughs> I know, I saw Valhalla. Viper gang. I'm pretty sure this has a seating area. Yep. Well, oh, look at all the area. remnants of the seats. Wow. Oh. Pretty soon, all of Hollywood is going to look like this. Oh, and look at that. Viper gang. Viper gang. I found an atom. What's up? Sure. Oh, that's lovely. They told us not to go down there, but I kind of, I kind of want to go down there now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we left the theater back there. We're walking through these trails that go through the forest, and there's just remnants of stuff and junk out here. 
but we're not sure exactly where this trail goes to, so we're gonna explore. What's that building there? I don't know. It's probably an outhouse. We're leaving the path and going through the mosquito-infested jungle here. I mean, mosquito-infested. There are just swarms of them. I don't know what it was, but it was huge. All right, this is, uh, what is this? It's like a cave. Yeah, but it is a very small cave. What, what are these? These are, these are actually, these aren't painted on. I thought these were painted on. What is that? I'm not sure. Some sort of design? Oh, so this just is much ado about nothing. It just kind of goes in through one end and comes out the other. So we came out of that cave through the jungle here. And there is this structure here that is so cool. Oi, I'm tripping over, well, probably nothing. Look at this. This is an old relic, man. I wish I could take this home. But look at this place. I wonder what this was. I mean, it's not very big. I mean, this is the extent of it. Look up there. Wow. Man. Look at that. Just, you know, there's so much work that goes into this craft and then to see it kind of broken apart, decaying like this. It's actually rather sad. All right, so I'm gonna take a look out here and all it is is just jungle. This is a very bizarre structure. It doesn't seem like it was used for anything other than maybe decoration. I'm wrong with that, but I don't know what is actually right. Okay, so this was one of the animal enclosures here or close to the animal enclosures. I bet all of this was enclosures and this is where people could come and see all the animals. But this is definitely the enclosure that we saw outside. Yeah, if you look at the structure here, you got traction for glass. Maybe, I'm not sure, but I can definitely see that this may have been an enclosure for animals here. All right, so there's a staircase here. If I can get down here. Wow, whoa, slid into home there. Man, I really wonder what this used to be. You know, I gotta say, of all the abandoned places that I've explored, this one, this one was the most incredible. Not only is it an abandoned amusement park, it's an abandoned amusement park here in Bali. And it's not just the structures, it's the idea of what this place looked like during its heyday. And walking through the ruins of this place, you kind of get a glimpse into that. And that's why I love exploring abandoned places. And you're gonna see a lot more abandoned exploration coming up on this channel. And guys, if you wanna see all the cool reptiles we found in this abandoned amusement park, pop on over to my main channel, Dave Kaufman's Reptile Adventure. That link is in the description below. And if you love to explore abandoned places like I do, leave a comment below and let me know where your favorite abandoned place to explore is. Also, hit that subscribe button when you do hit that bell so you never miss an upload. Give this video a like. And guys, there's lots more strange adventures coming up. So as always, thanks for watching. And until the next strange adventure, embrace your strange and rattle on.